Hey there, Dr. Dave, the RV dummy. And today I'm gonna to be not only reviewing, but showing you from start to finish every single feature on the Blue Eddy EB70S solar generator. So let's get right into it. Um, I love this unit. This unit can be used for power, as a power source uh, in an RV, a car, a pickup truck, car camping. It's great to use, say if you're going to the water and you want to uh, blow up your, your um, stand-up paddleboard or inflatable kayak or any kind of water, water sport toy, anything like that, this is fantastic to supply the power for that. It weighs uh, probably fairly similar, a little bit lighter than a car battery, much lighter than a car battery. So I'd say the weight is not super significant at all. It's in the specs, you can look that up if you want. So um, come on in, let's get close to this. It'll show you every single feature. Um, and then I'll give my opinion and we got something real special for you at the end to show you as well. So first of all, it has a lot of outputs. And starting from here, we can um, plug in a USB-C connector to a smartphone, to an iPad, to a uh, any kind of tablet, basically. It also has your um, regular, typical, standard USB connectors here. Um, these are called, I've got to look that up again because I keep forgetting the name of this, but it's DC5521 port. Basically, um, a lot of s very small uh, lights, appliances uh, that work on DC power, you can plug into that and it'll power like a, um, like a small light, things like that. If you have something that um, a cigarette lighter, you know, car cigarette lighter plugs into here, you have your input there. It's going to give you power uh, this way. Toward, it's going to give you power to your device. Um, taking a break for a second to show you the control panel, all you have to do on any of these, any of these little areas, all you have to do is press the power button one time. It shows you um, how much power. So right now we've got 100% because I did just recently charge it. And here we'll show you um, how much power you're using, the output, how many watts. And if you're charging, if you have to be charging it at any time or even the same time, it'll show you how much input you have, how much charging power you have, which I'm going to demonstrate very, very shortly. Okay, so that's the DC outputs right here, all contained in this little area. I'll turn this off right now. Um, here are the AC outputs. So for the AC outputs, we have just four typical standard, um, you know, 120 volt outlets. You can plug things into this. For example, I um, the other night we were camping and I sleep with a CPAP. And I used this actually two nights in a row to power my CPAP machine. It was really, it was flawless, it worked perfectly. And I think by the end of the second night, we were down to about 40% total power in, in this power source, 40%. That's really good considering that what I've used in the past, um, pretty much after one night of using my CPAP machine all night long, say seven hours, eight hours, um, it would totally deplete the battery. So this, is, I can use this at least two nights in a row, possibly three nights in a row, um, powering my CPAP without even ever having to think about charging this up again, as long as I'm not using anything else. Um, let's see what else. So it also has a little light here. If you want, um, and I think if you press it another time, it'll it'll strobe at you there. There you go, like that. I'm not sure why I ever use that function, but but again, just to show you, whenever you want to show the control panel, any light press one time. The second time, it will go ahead and activate the um, area where you are. So right now, since it's flashing, since it's green, it'll activate the AC outputs one more time and it turns it off. The control panel will stay on for probably about, I don't know, it's about 30 seconds to a minute, something like that. So one real cool feature I want to show you is on the top, it's got a wireless charger. So if you want to put your phone, your tablet, iPad, whatever, you just lay it right on top of it and wham, the thing starts charging without any connection at all. So that's a really, really cool feature. I love that one. Um, I think I pretty much showed you everything here as far as um, output. Now it's time to show you the inputs. And when I say inputs, I mean how to charge. How, when this starts depleting, how do you actually charge it? How do you get power back into it? Well, it's really simple. Um, perhaps the most common and easiest is if you're in a place where you can just plug in. You've got one end that goes into the unit here, input, and then basically you just plug this into the wall outlet anywhere and it will show you the progress as you're 
charging and it'll show you when it's fully charged. The only thing I will share with you about that is that this does have a fan inside and so it will be, not that it's noisy, but you will be able to hear something. It's not gonna be like 100% silent, but the fan is pretty quiet and it's not, I don't think it's gonna really bother or anything, but just so you know, this does have a fan in it. The second way to get a charge back into this unit is by plugging into a car cigarette lighter. So again, you plug the input in here. This will have to go into your car cigarette lighter and make sure that um, if your car cigarette lighter is switched, meaning if your car is off, um, you gotta turn it on for the duration of the charge. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. But if your car, if it doesn't have a switch, then just plug it in. Just be aware and monitor the amount it's drawing from your, um, from your car battery because you, don't want to, you certainly don't wanna have a dead battery. Um, so last but not least, I wanna show you why it's called a solar generator and also how to hook up your solar panel to this generator. For that, we're gonna to have to go outside. Okay, so I had to come outside for this part because I'm gonna show you actually why it's called a solar generator. So I've got a uh, Renogy 100 watt solar panel right here. And I connected this little um, cable that comes with the um, Blue Eddy to my solar panel. One thing I want to share with you, and I'm going to probably do a totally separate video on this part because it's super, super important. You have to bypass the control panel in your solar panel. No matter what brand or what type you have, you've got to bypass the control panel because it's, it can't work. It will not work if it's going through two control panels. So again, it's a little bit more complex. Not really complex, but, but it's beyond the scope of this particular video. I'll probably do a separate video on that. It took me a little while to figure it out, but once you figure it out, it's really simple. But um, once I have this connected to my solar panel, all I have to do is plug it into the input, and let's see what happens. It should start to show fairly quickly how much power is actually coming in to the unit, to the Blue Eddy unit. You can see right now, let's see, it's a little bit sunny, so it's hard to really see. But it looks like it is, where are we? 97 watts, which is very close to the maximum of 100 watt output of the solar panel. So right now, just from being outside and having this connected, I'm getting 97 watts of power coming into the solar generator. That means if I'm using it outside or even if I have a longer cable and using it inside somewhere, um, I can continue using this pretty much forever as long as my wattage does not go over the amount that the solar panel is bringing in. It's, and right now it's bringing in close to 100 watts, which is really, really good. So you could pretty much keep this thing going forever. That's why I wanted to bring it outside and show you. Now, it won't charge as quickly with only 100 watts of solar power coming into it as, say, if it were plugged in. Uh, to an AC outlet, but still if you're out in the middle of nowhere and you've got a solar panel You could just keep this thing going for quite some time. So that's what I really love about this. So that's the um, Blue Eddy EB 70 S um, I Want to say that I really really love this unit as I said I was able to power um, My CPAP all night long. We used a lot of other things some other appliances. It just worked really well in the RV um, It's lightweight we could take this in our Subaru very, very, very easily because we do a lot of um, stand-up paddle boarding and things like that where we have to be inflating um, these, these devices, stand-up paddle boards, whatnot. And it's just a really, really simple system to always have with you if you ever need or ever think you, there's a chance you're gonna need power. I give this my highest rating five out of five. But looking at some of the other reviews of some of the other brands, the Blue Eddy, um, seems to be top, top notch, seems to be better than a lot of them out there. So I love it. I give it five out of five. I'm Dr. Dave, the RV dummy. Thank you so much for being with me. I appreciate you.